Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever seen the claim that indigenous people are lazy, that if they just worked harder and applied themselves, they could pull themselves out of the cycle of poverty? This is a racist take on a complex issue. You see, indigenous people aren't in generational poverty because of a lack of personal motivation. They don't experience higher incarceration rates because they simply choose to commit more crime. They don't have lower graduation rates than non-indigenous people because because they just don't want to study, and so on. All of these issues are systemic. Indigenous people were systematically oppressed for centuries. They were exploited for their knowledge of the land and its resources. They were starved, infected, relocated, raped, and murdered, and then imprisoned on small tracts of land, having their languages, religious beliefs, and culture stolen from them. Their children were kidnapped and forced into state-sponsored religious schools where they were physically, emotionally, and and sexually abused. Their children are still today kidnapped by the state and put into white homes. Indigenous people face police brutality. They face discrimination from store owners, landlords, and employers, and so on. None of that has to do with personal choice. And the fact that the discrepancies are systemic is why these issues affect Indigenous people as a whole and not just a handful of persons. If poverty rates or incarceration rates or graduation rates or any area that has discrepancy between Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people rates come down to personal choice, then that means white people make better choices simply because they're white, and Indigenous people make poorer choices simply because they're Indigenous. But there's no laziness DNA, nor is there a pull-up-your-socks DNA. To act as if there is, is what makes this attitude racist. Even if it did come down to personal choice, even if the solution is for Indigenous people to just choose to go to school, get a good job, and buy a nice home, this attitude also removes culpability from the system. All that must be done to escape the effects of centuries-old genocide, which still happens today, is for indigenous people to make better choices, and that means indigenous people end up being responsible for solving the issues created by that genocide. Except indigenous people shouldn't be responsible for the actions of the state. The state should be. The state should be dealing with poverty among indigenous people. The state should be dealing with police brutality. The state should be dealing with lower graduation rates. The state should be dealing with intergenerational trauma caused by residential schools and the foster system. The state should be dealing with over-incarceration, and so on. Indigenous people already have to deal with the effects of all those things. It's cruel to make them deal with solving them, too. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimseaver.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Siever on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raised in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.